You ever wonder when you're at home doing whatever you do on a typical day and night starts to fall, it starts to get dark and you turn on some lights. While you're minding your own business and for no reason you briefly feel a little down, maybe even tired, and sometimes you find it hard to focus on things. Your eyes feel a little strained. Sometimes your stomach overreacts for no reason. Sometimes you may feel a little agitated and little things seem to annoy you. Why would you be feeling this way at night? Well, it's not what you consume throughout the day. The problem just may be your light bulb. You have a light bulb go out. You go to the store to replace it. And just about every bulb you're looking for you see is an LED. Very limited selection of incandescent bulbs, if any, the right kind you're looking for. Now, you may see plenty of double-ended halogen bulbs, but you don't see too many lamps that's made for those bulbs anymore. Probably because of fire risk. I miss those halogen lamps. Some halogen bulbs are now being made encased in envelopes. Those are sometimes tricky to find, too. So you're in the store thinking, it's just a bulb, what's the big deal? LED it is. So, what is the big deal about LED bulbs? Take a walk with me. Nothing is wrong with your device, we're just going through reality faster than the speed of an LED bulb while gradually slowing down to a normal reality speed. As you're watching this, you may be feeling a little irritated because of the constant flashing. Hang in there, but if at any time this becomes too much for you, just look away or close your eyes and I'll let you know when it's done. As the intervals increases, you may start to feel anger because it's getting on your nerves. As the speed increases more, you may even experience a feeling of nausea. Now that we are slowing down, the LED increases in speed. You may even experience feeling stunned like from one of those blinking defense flashlights. Every speed triggers something different. You could go through irritation, anger, nausea, and maybe even seizures. And we're done. There. You feel better? If you watched it all the way through, was you irritated? Did it make you kind of angry at me for a second? That's what those bulbs are doing to your subconscious. Your subconscious picks up things your eyes miss. It collects so fast that reality is in slow motion to it, just like us watching that clip going through reality at a super high speed. So an LED bulb is equivalent to a strobe light. These people know that flashing light at a certain frequency induces certain triggers in the brain, irritating you mentally which puts you in a down or sour mood because of the strain. Now they're making therapy lamps. Constantly feeling down lowers the immune system. Staying indoors every day lowers the immune system. Staying indoors combined with a strobe light makes you sick. My field is electronics and electronic technology. When I was first getting my training, tiny LEDs were becoming popular. Interesting thing about LEDs. First, LEDs are light emitting dials, a dial that emits light when current is applied to it by way of photons. But the thing they don't tell you is that these little lights, while on, are only on half the time. Meaning, it blinks on and off really fast, so fast that it's giving the illusion that it's always on. Just like today's car brake lights. It looks like they're always on and you glance somewhere else real quick and the brake lights leave a trail of dots in your peripheral. That's because it's blinking at a slow rate. Your eyes move faster than the blinking. I hate those brake lights. In dark areas, they kind of burn a temporary image in your eye. Our teacher told us that since it's not using the filament, these LEDs can last up to 30 years. True or not, those old LEDs did last a long time. It uses low energy, true, and it doesn't put out a lot of heat, which is also true, but weird because now some of these LED bulbs are almost as hot as incandescent bulbs. So why the bulbs today doesn't last long now, you ask? I'm in electronics. Trust me, it was designed that way. It may not necessarily be the LED itself burned out. It's more the circuitry inside the casing because they'll go out of business selling 30-year light bulbs. A long time ago when LEDs came out, it was just red and then later green the bulky ones. It was used in all kinds of applications. I remember they had this toy or gadget. It was a wand, maybe about two foot long, almost like a flat board around two to three inches with a handle on it. The board part had rows of LEDs on it. What you do is program a message in the handle somewhere, turn it on, and wave it back and forth in the air. Just like wave your hands in the air, wave it like you just don't care, and the wand would display your message, kind of like these animation display clocks. I still remember parts of the commercial where these two kids were sending messages to each other from their windows across the yard. I always wanted one of those. Kind of still do. I like gadgets. It seems like it could have been a pretty useful tool during wartime. One time use, you might get shot after that. What's odd is that I can't find any evidence of his existence. I don't even remember the name of it or who it was made by. It's as if it's not even part of this timeline. I won't be sure until I remember the name. The reason I'm bringing this up is that you can see the message being sent to your optics because of specific LEDs on the board blinks at a specific time to create a message that you can interpret. So what message are you not seeing sent to your subconscious with these bulbs? What makes you think these bulbs are not affecting your emotions? Even a dimness of light changes mood. 
Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. You know how you have a date coming over? Well, I don't know how they do now. These kids be tripping today. But back in the day, we used to dim the lights or set out candles because we know that what sets the mood. Even the dimness of light changes moods. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about too. Just dimming the light sends signals to our brain that instantly changes our mood. Light affects us just like it affects flowers. Why do you think lighting is so important to professional photographers? It sets the mood. So what do you think those blinking lights are doing? Try this out. Have two lamps, one with an LED bulb and the other with a filament, if you can find one. I don't think they even have to be the same wattage if it's not too extreme. Turn on the LED lamp and get used to it for a few minutes, maybe about 10 to 15 minutes. Have the other lamp with the filament bulb next to it and turn it on. You don't even have to turn the other one off and you will instantly feel a difference. Your subconscious is seeing the whole picture of what the LED cut out. The point of making this video is to inform you to never assume you're safe from these people. When you think they're not attacking you, they always are. They never let up. They don't want your frequency or vibrations to elevate. People are starting to come into their powers. They had to keep you sick and in a low vibrational state to remain in control. They would be making a move soon and they want to keep you too weak and too sick to fight back. They are poisoning you at every chance they can for years. You eat it, you drink it, you breathe it, you absorb it through social media, Wi-Fi radiation, and all radiation really. And to catch you slick ones that want to create things offline and read books, we get you with our fancy light bulbs because we're trying to save the environment. Which should tell you, who's ever behind this is really, really afraid of you. Claim your power. They know people are waking up. Free Kool-Aid served to the sleepers. Thank you for watching and thank you for sharing your time with me.